I hope she's not too mad. I'm sure he will tell her. She shouldn't get too upset. Right? Hello. Hey, so Kate's choice of colors and mine, totally different. <laughs> I thought that was a bold choice. <laughs> it's pretty bold. Um, can we fix it? You're in luck. That was just the primer. <laughs> So the top coat <laughs> is the color you want. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. This should work much uh, better for you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. So, you're so lucky. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so sorry about our prank. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But y'all know that we're a bunch of pranksters. <laughs> so um, I wanted to talk about the actual paint that was recommended for the shipping container because we did not in our last video. And in this video, we're going to be putting on our final coat. So what was recommended to us was this is the primer and it is uh, a direct to metal paint primer is what this is and then our finished coat is also a direct to metal paint um one thing with shipping containers the way that they are built um, they are built to be on the sea in salt water and so the rust which normally freaks us all out is actually not a big deal on shipping containers so we did sand down the rust put a pre primer on and then the regular primer um, but we actually did not do the pink all the way around the building. So you'll just see the gray in those spots. And that's our spot primer that we used, um, that you saw me use in the spray can. So we can go directly over that with our top coat and over the pink and over all the rest of it that did not get the pink primer. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Mallory Paint Store in Ponderay, Idaho and Benjamin Moore Paint. First and foremost, they are a customer service company who happens to sell premium Benjamin Moore paint. They have trained experts who can ease you through any painting project with the right tools and application. Among their staff are color experts who can help you pick and match any color. They are here for you, so let them know what they can do to make your painting experience more enjoyable. Whether you are a professional painter or a DIYer like we are, they have everything in the store for your painting needs. You can also order online from the comfort of your own home and get in-store pickup or local deliveries. Virgil and the crew helped us pick out the exact paint that we needed and guided us through exactly how we needed to do it. They made this experience such an enjoyable one, and we are extremely grateful for all of their help that they gave us so that we can be successful in painting our tiny house. Not only do they have some of the best paint that I've ever used, they also have all of the equipment that you need for your job to be successful. So we would really like to thank the Mallory Paint Store and Benjamin Moore for sponsoring us and supporting our channel. So if you stop in and tell them hi, let them know that Cuz We Can Farms sent you. We're going to put the pink primer on all the corners because that's basically what we got that for. Uh, but we ra we decided we'd rather prank you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So that's what we're doing today. We're putting on our, our first coat. So basically what you do is you, you need to give 24 hours or it's actually 16 hours in between your coats. So our primer went on yesterday. Our first coat's gonna go on today and our last coat will go on tomorrow. So in this video, I'm actually going to test out some spray foam. So make sure you watch till the end 
um, to, to see the spray foam that I'm using on the inside of the shipping container because basically we can only throw on one coat of this and then we've got to do something else today, you guys. So enjoy the video. Well, that should hide that pesky pink.
Okay guys, so this is not a sponsored video with these guys, but I purchased this myself. This is a Kraken Bond um, spray foam. And it had one of the highest R value ratings. And uh, it was supposed to be very, very DIY friendly. Um, and right now we have a beautiful day. It's almost 70 degrees here. So it's the perfect temperature to be doing this. And I do have to say, um, what time is it now, Kimmy? Like two o'clock ish? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So it's pretty warm outside and it is actually feels like an air conditioner was on inside of here. So I know a lot of people are concerned about black. Um, I'm sure I've already gotten comments on that on this particular video, but the people that I talked to before were like, why are you going to do black? Um, so far it's not affecting the inside of the shipping container at all. So that was a really kind of neat thing. And it is full sun on the front. So it's been in full sun for a few hours now and it's nice and cool in here. So I'm a little nervous about this because I've never done it before, but let's give it a try. Looks like you're about to rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life of crime. It started with the groupie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and in case you guys were wondering, I am being protected as well. I'm staying really far back. I'm wearing this. I got some goggles. So we're good to go. Oh, look how cute this is. Each little thing comes with its own little set of rubber gloves taped to the top. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I did get this off of Amazon. I will put a link below um, if you're interested in getting it. Um, so... What I'm doing is I'm going to do four, four, and four. So I'll spray four cans on this wall, four cans on the ceiling, and four cans on that wall. And we'll see exactly how far we get, and then we'll know exactly how much we need um, to go ahead and purchase. These are terrible gloves by different ones. These are like those hair gloves where you're... <laughs> Most of the guys that are watching have no idea have what no you're idea. talking about. <laughs> well, if they're wise color, they're here, then they know. So your can is actually upside down, and you're supposed to be 12 to 18 inches from the wall. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a, a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these are the sexy ones. Oh, and apparently you should have a super skinny head. <laughs> and when you wear a mask and you put goggles on, then it just steams up your eyes. True story. Um, this is all foggy. So my job is to shake the cans because they're supposed to be well shook, and I'm gonna shake them and trade off with her and grab another song. Well shook. Shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a popular one. We get gigged if I sing that one. <laughs> All right, guys, a little jerky there. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that this just goes well. Um, in theory, it seems really simple. <laughs> the last famous words. Sorry, guys, I did actually get a uh, microphone for my shirt, but I don't want to get anything on it. So I'm just going to try to yell. So I'm sorry if I'm yelling at you or you cannot hear me. <laughs> What do you think? I, that's the easiest thing I've ever done. I love this so much. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, that was super simple. Um, 
easy to do. Of course, we haven't done the ceiling yet, but that those four, I was going for an inch. I don't really know how thick I've gotten, um, but um, there's not a lot of fumes. Like we're right now, I can't smell a huge amount of fumes. We're not gonna stand in here for very long. We're gonna go outside. But um, that was fun. It was fast. It was easy. I don't have to try to do the two canister thing and I am super excited about it. I think it's going to be perfect. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Hey guys so we moved outside because you can smell a little bit of the fumes and so we didn't want to be standing in there breathing it but this is such a game changer it is super simple i would give it out of like a a one on the hard list <laughs> if we had a one to five it would be a one so i love it highly recommend it this is going to work really well what we're going to end up doing is running our wires in the ceiling and then we're going to drop them down to wherever we need a plug-in space or, you know, the electricity, whatever brought down to. So we're going to take a little break and then we're going to get back to spraying the outside of the shipping container. Um, and we'll just kind of bounce back and forth and maybe we'll go spray the ceiling uh, while the uh, paint is drying here on the outside. What do you think? I love it. So it's been about an hour and you guys, it's, it's fully dry. In some places it's, it's definitely an inch and other places it's a little more. So like right here, you can see the big thing down at the bottom. It kind of did some of that. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is getting some of the windows and doors spray foam in the can because I actually have some and come along the bottom so that that gets spray foamed really well. Um, the places that I went over twice, like right here, it's it's a little thin. Um, and so when I go over that again, it's gonna be really thick. I am so impressed with this stuff. This is, I'm absolutely blown away, actually. This is such a DIY friendly, and that's what it said. That this was DIY friendly, and they were not wrong. This is not a lie. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, in an hour, it's completely done. So.
I may be sad because I didn't put my hair cover on. Didn't realize that. <laughs> I was going to fall. Wow. Is it in my hair? Uh-uh. I don't see any. Oh, good. That was a little bit scary to me. Oh, I'm going to clean this thing out real fast. We just feel like we've gotten so much accomplished over the past couple of days and um, we're super um, ready to move on to the next step working on the interior of this place so you guys follow along uh, like subscribe um, come follow our journey <laughs> it's <was> extra smelly <laughs> <laughs> So, if you're going to be doing ceilings, make sure you cover all the things. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your pro tip? It's my pro tip. <laughs> Haven't given y'all one of those in a while. <laughs> there you go. But, that went on really well. Um, what it didn't do real well is get on the, so there's like this, we have our two by four here, and then there's this bit of lip, and then the ceiling. So, that section, I'm going to have to make sure I go back with the wall sprayer because that didn't go well. But other than that, and I have stuff all over me and I'm sure it's in my hair, I may be bald in our next video. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> so I actually think that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, we got our coat of paint on, we've got spray foam in, we've got one more wall to do, but you guys get the gist. I give that stuff a 10 out of 10. And again, go visit a Bedroom and More a store near you. We're so grateful for them sponsoring us in this video. Have a good night, y'all. Bye. Milk of magnesia. is uh as it says as you can see it says dtm al al alkaloid how do you say that <laughs> alkid alkid <laughs> low luster but the um people who had used it and and kind of written in and they had a i don't know what they call that <laughs> my brain is like left the building <laughs> customer reviews <laughs>